What's going on guys, Real Talks Gmail here back with another game maker tutorial and I know you're probably thinking you're like, whoa, I see your face, I usually see a screen. But no, this is me and um, I'm going to be showing you something a little awesome today uh, and that is how to uh, create uh, iOS games in Game Maker. This was just made in Game Maker, just a quick little thing here where you just got to, you know, find find uh, the open slot and go, you know, tilt your way into it. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be really making the game here. And as you can see, there's pause. A little pause thing there. Uh, we're not going to be doing that. Or we're not going to be making the game. But I will show you how to actually export this onto your iOS. Not paying a dime. Not having to go through a Mac. Not having to pay the fee, $100 fee to go through it. But actually using Windows 7. Windows 7. Yeah, I know this for a fact this works on Windows 7. I'm not sure about Windows 8. Windows XP, anything like that. I've only tested it on Windows 7, and I actually have not created this program. Uh, I, but I will put the link in the description to download it, of course, and I will put uh, the person that made it. I can't think of it off the top of my head. There might be an annotation or something, but it will definitely be in the description. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to be doing this, and I'm going to be showing you how to export that onto your iOS device. So this can be iPad. This can be... This can be basically anything. Uh, one one um, key thing you have to do here is actually to run a Yo-Yo Runner uh, that you'll have to install. You need to jailbreak your iPod. Okay, now I'm going to stress this a lot that this is only for testing purposes. Okay, so you can't actually put the uh, put your game onto the Apple Store. Uh, you can just play it on your device because you have to manually go through it. There is a wireless way, but that doesn't always work, so I'm going to show you how to do the manual way, which will work 100%. So, uh, yeah, I will go to the screen now, and uh, we'll get started. All right, what's up? We are now at the screen, and I have my webcam on because I will be demonstrating uh, what to do with your device as well. So, first off, what I'm going to do is I have a Apple. This should come with your device, your iOS, iPad, whatever. This is just a charger that is USB, so it can hook into your computer. So, I'm going to hook that in real quick. And then I'm going up, oh, and it can't reach the webcam. I'm gonna. Oh wait, yes, it can. Uh, I'm just gonna plug this into the into the uh, iPod here. This is an iPod Touch. Uh, this works for I, iPod uh, or iPhone and iPad, all that. I've already said that. So once that happens, you should get something like this on your screen. You can just exit that out. And here I have Game Maker open, and I didn't create a new project yet because you're not gonna want spaces in your project. I'm just letting you know that right now so I'm just gonna say um, tutorial iOS and then create okay and here it is so I'm just gonna create a room background I'm just gonna make it blue just to test uh, now <clears throat> for if, if once you make this um, if you want it orientation so if you want the game up and down what you want to do is you want to set the width to 640 and the height to 960. Those are the dimensions for for your your iPhone and you're going to want to draw all of your sprites twice as big and then put it in put it in uh in uh your room here and it'll scale it down on the iPod or your iPhone and uh all will be good. But if you if you wanted it landscape, which is this way here, you just put your height to 640 and your width to 960. But I'm just going to keep it like that and just a blue background just to show. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is once you've got that, then just go ahead and save it. And you're going to want to install iFunbox, okay? So I'm going to go ahead. There will be a link in the description to download it. Okay, so have that. And now once you download it, what you're going to want to do is also download the, uh, the, here I'll show you right here. You don't want to download these files. It's it's going to be in the description of everything you need. But go make sure you extract it and bring it onto the desktop, and you should get all of these folders. So first off, run the main.exe and say re-extract IPA. It'll go through this here. It'll say done, and it should create a folder on your desktop. And you should get yoyo runner dot IPA. Okay, so you can run uh, iTunes or something like that. Uh, go to your device, go to apps. This is how I did it. Go to YoYo. Um, you're gonna want to sync apps and then click YoYo Runner and sync. 
and it should install the yo-yo runner on your device if you have any problems with that because I know I had a problem with it uh, the first time I tried it so if you have any problems with that go ahead and leave a comment but you you, you shouldn't so uh, now it's on your device here and if you run it you shouldn't actually get anything you should it should say it's trying to connect and there's an error or something like that so once you've got that all installed everything's good and remember you do need a jailbroken iPod for this to run the yo-yo runner um, once you've got that done what you're gonna want to do is go into game maker studio and here we have our our little game here and if we run it on Windows and I believe you do need uh, game maker studio for this so for your target click Mac OS X and then compile or just run the game and it'll compile for you just wait for that and then it says complete finish if you get something where it says you need to fill in options um, let me open that up you just go to global game setting Mac OS X uh, and uh, let's see here Uh, I believe, no, I actually don't get it. Uh, th there'll be a box that pops up that says you need to put in uh, the information, like your Apple ID and all that. Just put in random numbers. It, it doesn't matter. That's fine. But if you have problems with that, you can leave a comment or message me. But after that, it says compile finish. Once you see that, then go ahead and minimize it. Make sure you keep it open. And in your main, uh, uh, your main here, the the little program click get game files okay now you you did leave it open so you have tutorial iOS or whatever you named your file so hit zero or pre, uh, yeah just type zero press OK please ensure you have compiled make sure you compile it press OK all is good boom you're golden so you should then get game game uh, assets Mac and assets folder in your GM iOS folder that was created when you uh, extracted the IPA okay so open up iFunbox go to iFunbox classic raw file system var mobile applications double click yo-yo runner double click yo-yo runner again and go ahead and right click and say new folder and type in games <clears throat> okay lowercase g everything's lowercase just type in games and open it up and you should see nothing in here just delete it and you should see nothing in there so what you're gonna do is just take the assets folder everything that's included in the assets and just drag it in there okay so now I'm gonna go to my my iPod here And I run the yo-yo runner, and as you can see, I get a blue screen. <clears throat> a blue screen right there, and that is what our game was. Yep, right here. So how awesome is that? It's kind of a pain in the butt that you have to transfer files. There is a wireless way of doing it. Uh, I will I will link the article on on uh, how to do the wireless one, but I know for a hundred percent fact that this will work for everybody. Uh, that's on Windows 7 at least. So there you go. That is how to run iOS games on your from Windows 7. So go leave a like, go and subscribe. You know, I'm gonna throw out a crazy number. Let's try for 50 likes. Wait, would that be opposite? I'm not sure. 50 likes. Uh, if you have any problems with this, go ahead and leave a comment or message me on YouTube. So I will see you guys next time. Peace.